Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Valeron. Now, today, we've got a little bit of work to do on our fields, and I have already lined us up with a contract for later. But first of all, I wanted to show you, overnight, we've been doing a little bit of modification to the farm. We've got ourselves a little shed to go with our shed that we live in. And uh, we've got a tree in our garden, and I've actually fenced off the garden. This is not farmland, this is our living land, this bit. Not much, but it's ours. We've also got a water pump around the back here because we needed water. Gate to the chickens. Chickens are doing well. We've got, you know, half a pallet of eggs here already. I've topped up their feed this morning, so they're doing fine. If we have a little look, you can see they are they are well fed, they are healthy. We've still got 30. Still 30? Yeah, I think we started with 30. Uh, veggies are growing very nicely. They're still fine for water at the minute. And uh, storage is uh, absolutely great. We'll probably have to top these up with water tomorrow. Now we do have a new addition here on the farm. And this is uh, where we're going to store our front load of parts. Instead of just leaving things scattered about the farm or in the way, you can put them in here. Now I will just say, side note, put one on the top, they seem to fall through. <laughs> so just be careful with that. But this is a lovely little uh, front loader shed, as uh, storage in the side here. Unfortunately the um, bag lifter didn't fit, but that's fine, absolutely fine. This is the leftover wood from the work that we've been doing. Because I've also knocked up another little shelter. Now this might not be permanent, it's only cost two grand. But I think uh, while we're still small and we need to really put some more stuff under cover, we've got our stone picker over there, we've got a trailer here, we've got a trailer there, our tractor gets left out. Um, yeah, so we need to make sure we're getting everything under cover. I might put both of this cultivator and uh, roller cultivator together. So that's sort of new, that's what we've been doing. And uh, like I said, I would. I've been. I've stocked up on uh, fertilizer. I've got a little stock of herbicide. I've put our seeds in the corner here, out of the way, all nice and tidy. I do like things tidy. I don't like that post. Now our soybeans are getting closer. They'll also be ready to harvest. We'll be using the class again. And I did go around and uh, do some repair work on pretty much everything that needed repair work. So the uh, the Massey's all up to spec. We even repaired the weight. Uh, the sprayer was getting uh, a little worn. Been using that a lot for contracting. So that had a bit of wear on it. And the cedar. I think in total just in repairs cost uh, about 5,200 and 4,300 of that was for the Massey again. This is getting a very expensive tractor to run if every sort of two or three months now it's costing us three to five grand in repairs depending on what we're doing with contracts so we might have to look into that as we go into year three it might be something that needs to be addressed but anyway we'll get on with today's work and that is to preemptive spray our uh, canola field that we planted it's been planted uh, it has Mostly, most of it has uh, two uh, applications of fertilizer. It's done that streaky thing that it does. Not the biggest issue in the world, but you know, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but we can live with it. We can live with not perfect. Let's get these booms out. Lovely job. Now this job shouldn't take very long at all. Pretty much banking on that. Uh, because our contract that we're going to do afterwards is going to be a contract with a twist. And uh, yeah, might be a little bit different. So we'll just uh, hoss our way through this, get this done. No train going off in the distance. I think it's uh, coming back from uh, Felsbrunn. 
Let's not come back from Felsburn. We're nowhere near Felsburn, are we? What's the uh, Massa... Massa somewhere? The, the place I had trouble sending crops to before. That's where that's going. Felsburn's in Germany. Ah, good segue. Now, I am thinking of starting the um, time-lapse series soon um, on uh, Ellengrat. I might do it with, as a new farmer start, but I think I might change out all the equipment and uh, maybe start with a little less money, but like I say, but with different equipment, equipment that I want to use rather than the same base equipment. So that might come soon. So keep an eye out for that, guys. We've got plenty happening on the channel at the minute. So much going on. So if you're enjoying the content, guys, please the videos a thumbs up it really helps to get them out there to uh, more people who are like-minded and enjoy the same sort of content as we do and it also lets me know that you're enjoying it so I know to keep putting it out there as I uh, as I fully expected around about sort of January time February time with the limited maps and, and what have you in FS uh, 22 I think the interest has, has waned a little bit, especially for a smaller channel like myself. So the views for the farming have dropped. Totally understand that. Hopefully once we get some more maps, um, people will be, uh, be back into the FS again. But I still enjoy uh, playing it. I enjoy doing it. Like I keep saying, this will, this will always be the bread and butter of the channel. This will always be here. This is something I always enjoy doing. This is why, why I wanted to, uh, the primary reason why I wanted to have a channel, to share what I do here on the farm. We finished on this job. This isn't going. This hasn't taken long at all. I guess that's the nice thing having these small fields. Don't take long. Get these jobs done, and we can go off and uh, say we can have a look at this little job. I've got us lined up. We'll turn that off. Get that folded up. I'll put this all away nicely. And uh, then we'll move on to the next thing, guys. Now, for our next job, all we've been asked is that we head over to Field 27 with our trailer so we are going to do some carting and that's all this job is going to be the initial job uh, was a 10 grand payout before leasing of equipment so we've had to lease the equipment for this job so there'll be a deduction in our pay for that and to uh, cover the cost of let's say the worker, which is, go along with me, it's the field owner. The worker is driving the harvester. And uh, we're just carting. So 50% of whatever worker pay is today will be recouped back into our pockets. Because we don't need full payment. We're not doing the full job, we're just carting. But worker wages. <laughs> FS22 are crazy, so we're going to recoup half of that because that will probably take more than uh, what we actually get paid. Now he should be just up over here on our left. In the mists of harvesting, it's potato field. There he is down the bottom. Looks like he's got himself stuck. Easy fool. Let's see if we can give him a hand. He just misjudged his uh, turn and angle there. Uh, apparently there's a new bit of equipment for him. The uh, the Grimmy. So uh, hopefully he won't have too many of them issues. If not, we'll have to keep digging him out. We'll see how he does with me parking my tractor here. 
fact, I'm probably uh, going to move that. I don't want him uh, hitting me. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's wild, any? He? He's wild. Yeah, so it's the uh, the Grim Ventor, forty-one fifty. Potato harvester. Now this job is probably going to take us a while. Be out here much of the day, I imagine. It's not a big field. You know, it's just one of them processors that's going to take us a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll wait for him to come back up. And I think we'll uh, we'll try and follow him down next time. Okay, as he comes up, he's got his beacons on, which I believe is a signal to let me know that he's uh, getting full. So we'll jump in the Massey, and then as he uh, turns around, we'll try and pull up alongside him and uh, do a bit of an unload on the go. What's the worst that can happen, eh, guys? What is the worst? Uh, I guess I'm going to say him hitting a tree. <laughs> Uh, this was a good idea in my head. Yeah, he's done all right. Apparently, he's a new farmer too. Start to bring ourselves in. to hit him. There we go, we're unloaded. Oh, gone a bit quick there. Excited. Come on, chap. Come up too far away. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a little bit scary getting right under there next to this machine. And there we are. Our first unload. Oh, I can feel the weight already from them potatoes. <laughs> they are heavy. So uh, I'll head back up to the top. Oh, Christ almighty, what is he doing? He's dangerous, isn't he? What is he doing? Let's have a little look. Right there, fella. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to head up to the top and uh, <laughs> wait for him for another unload. Now I'm not certain that he's going to get all the way up here before he needs to unload and uh, he didn't stop for me at the bottom so uh, I guess he's happy with me driving in his field driving in his crops we'll see how he does on the way up and uh, having a look in we are at uh, I think it's around about 42-45% full uh, of capacity, 42%. So, uh, when we do unload, we'll get this off to the, uh, it was the grain elevator we want us to take this to. So we'll do that delivery for him. Maybe he's just going to make it. Hopefully he does. We don't want to be driving in his crops. Oh... That's unfortunate. I'll just have a word with him and get him to turn around. There's no point in uh, driving in there for him. Okay, well, they sort of listened. So, uh, <laughs> we'll unload and then we'll go take these for him. It should be easier to unload without being on the move, I guess. 
Hopefully they're smart and don't just drive off as soon as it starts to unload. We just check with the job order. Uh, we're going to the GCHP grade elevator, which is oh, it's up there. That one. That's the one we go. The one we go to quite a lot. That's fine. I thought they usually flashed. Oh, there you go. No messing around. Right. You best get a move on because it's not going to take them long to fill back up again. Turns out with the potatoes, we only fill to about 63, 64% um, assay. So they are going to be <laughs> full and waiting for us by the time we get back. It was uh, quite a slow trip up here as well. I think we were averaging about <laughs> 9, 12 miles an hour uphill. It's very unfortunate uh, that the cell points always seem to be uphill. But we shall uh, head back. I'm thinking it may even be worthwhile just running every unload at 42%. Uh, Weight-wise will be quicker. So we'll see how that goes in the future. Let's see how far they got. I bet they're on the... Uh, the wrong side facing. Oh, wow, what are you doing over there? They've gone for a completely <laughs> different approach. It's unusual. I, mean, I know they said they were new, but I just think that's a bit of the crazy one. Over here. They've come in at an angle. Ingenious. I'm sure they thought that was a good idea. I'll have to try and convince them otherwise. Let's just get under here. Let's get out and have a word. Hold up, that's his wife in there now. That that explains it all. We'll uh, we'll let her be. She can do what she want. I ain't having that argument. Yep, not worth the trouble. I'm sure she'll re realise the errors of her ways uh, due time. Let's see if we can sneak a little bit out of this, and we'll run this up at 45, 46 percent. Whatever it works out to be. Oh, we're too far away now. Let's get closer. I'm sure what direction they're going to go. I don't think she knows. <laughs> what are you doing, woman? Ah, uh, we'll 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 find out when we come back. I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna deliver this. I'm gonna do my job. She can figure out her job as she goes along. <laughs> Craziness. Seems they realised the error in their ways and uh, have gone back to uh, harvesting it the more traditional way. Hopefully they'll keep at it. Uh, I think the uh, <laughs> the angle that they were going at is now going to cause them issues, but we shall see. 
Uh, I did ask if they had a larger tractor that we could use, uh, but apparently they only have a uh, 6000 series um, Massey, and that's why they asked us to come over with ours, because ours is a 7.7. I think theirs is a 6.7. So we do have more power than what they had. But we are still struggling uh, up the hill, even with a slightly... Uh, lesser load. Now I'm not usually one to bash another person's workmanship, but what the hell are they doing while I'm running? What on earth is going on here? It's just like <laughs> picking out random chunks. This is going to be a long old day. <laughs> a long old day. God dear, what have I got myself into? Well, that's a good sign. They're still going when I get back, so... Uh, <laughs> They've not paused this run up, not yet. See so if we can get nice unload. Nice and smooth. The wind be rude, but it looked like there's a fella back driving again. Perhaps he just went off for his lunch. Right. I'm going to go crawl back up the hill. And now for another crawl up the hill. It's taken all day. Now if this does complete the quota, or at least the delivery quota anyway, um, what's left on the field, fairness is ours. And uh, I might sell that somewhere else where it's not so... Uh, so uphill. I think, well, everything is uphill. That's that's the issue. I think the farm shop would be easier. Whether we just chuck it in like a train silo and then unload it and sell it next time we have something to send in a train, I don't know. But we want to want to get our bunnies worth. With only filling to 40 to 50 percent, sometimes I I'm not going to show every single run that I've done. I think we can uh, we can get more in here this time. That's not even close. So we'll let him come up and down again. Or actually, I'm going to let them try and finish the rest of the field, and then we'll just unload. Let's see what we get. That's going to be my plan. I'll park in my spot. They're on their final little run down. So uh, we'll get as much as we can in our trailer. We'll run it up. This should complete, complete the deal, complete the contract, and give us a little bit for ourselves. Now, there'll probably be a little bit left in the harvester as well. Um, but if this completes the contract for us, then we'll let them sort that out. Oh, he's fucked off. I guess I'm unloading it. There. What a day this has been, I tell you. What a day. Right, 
Let's bring this forward. For that, I definitely hope this finishes it. Take the piss bug run off like that, I tell you. Okay, one final run. I'm not even going to turn his harvester off. He can sort that out himself. Let's get this up. Let's get this delivered, get this sold. Get this nightmare of a day over with. I tell you, nightmare. It's taken us so long to get up here. It's started to get dark. This definitely signals the end <laughs> to our day. I was worried that we were going to have to uh, jog through the night. Let's get this unloaded. Put the HUD on so we can uh, check top right. Make sure it says contract complete. Oh, it was. And we've got ourselves an extra 5,600, which is actually really pretty good. Let's just get out of here. Pull over. That's a nice little touch. So if we go and have a look into our finances, our, um, where are we looking? Wages. What am I looking for? Wage payment. So we've paid out 1,393, but we've got such a good payment off the leftover of that crop. I'll not worry about putting anything back in. We're going to get paid 9,500. So that's a uh, 1,500, no, 15,000, sorry, 15,000 euro contract. Collect on that. And with that done, we are going to head home. It has been such a long day. And I mean, it has been such a long day. Uh, I've tried to do something a little bit different. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, leave your comments and feedback. Um, I don't know what happened with the AI in this one. I, I don't know what happened. I thought it would be fun. I thought it would make it easier. Turned into a bloody nightmare. Anyway, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.